as a new star. Some new ideas, and the man who last year was new is now a seasoned veteran. <laughs> Mr. Nimoy, how does it feel? It feels great. It feels like I've found a home. I enjoy the company. I enjoy the people. I enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to do it. And we do have a lot of new things happening this season. We're out at a new time slot. We're on Saturday nights at 7.30 this year. be good. Yeah. And we've got a new girl, permanent girl, Leslie Warren. Uh, Cinderella. That's right. Mm -hmm. Walt Disney's Cinderella. And she's going to be a new member of the IMF team. I think she's going to be a tremendous lift to the show. And we've got a new story for him. We're going to be doing a lot more personal stories this season. There will be more investigation of the characters. People will find out more about Peter Gray's character, my character, Leslie's character. In the past, uh, the characters have been kind of mysterious. We didn't know too much about their background. We knew what they did, but we didn't know much about them. And we're going to find out more about them this season. So uh, we're looking forward to a very big year. Well, uh, will this mean that you'll take uh, scripts where perhaps you will be featured specifically in one script, yeah. Peter Graves in another? Yeah. For example, we shot a show a while back where uh, it'll be on this fall, where Peter Graves goes to his hometown to uh, dispose of some property that was left to him by his father. And there, and there have been some murders in his hometown. So he calls in the team to help solve the murders. And that brings me to another point. We're going to be doing more stories about that take place in this country, in the United States, than we were in the past. There'll be less dictators. I think we're just about done in all the dictators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've taken care of them. Right. Well, before you went into this, you were associated with the character and everyone knew you as that. Do you find now that people know you as this character? Uh, do you like Oh, this? sure. There's a lot of people that know. Yeah, there's a lot of people that associate me with Mission Impossible. There's still an awful lot of people that, that identify me with Star Trek, uh, particularly young people. A lot of them in the past who watched Star Trek uh, haven't been able to watch Mission Impossible because it was on too late on Sunday night, but we'll be on early. Now you'll get them. People. Yeah, they'll be there. All sure. right, now, when you're not working on Star Trek, you have to start working again tomorrow morning, right off the bat. Uh, what do you do? I know you have a pet shop. Yeah, we have a pet shop, right? Lots and of animals. You mix glazes. Tell us a little about Yeah, well, my wife and I are doing a pottery thing at home. Um, she has a wheel and she throws pots, and I do a lot of the glazing. I, I prepare the chemicals for the glaze and do a lot of the design work. We spend time doing that. We traveled for a month in Europe this spring. Uh, we finished shooting Mission in February, and then there's about a three month layoff. And we, we spent a month in Europe. I did a, a, a movie of the week called Assault on the Wayne that'll be on ABC this fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I did a special in Chicago about a school, a very exciting uh, experimental educational school in Chicago. We, we did that. Uh, and then I went back to work on Mission Impossible. We try to keep busy. Is this what you have about three months off? Yeah, a from, year. From February to May. And from uh, what you say, you take one month for a vacation and then you're already scheduled for... The next We're two. Ready to go back to work. Keeping sure. busy. Right. Well, just keep Mission Impossible going along. We'll look for it at the new time. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. Pleasure. And don't you miss it. The new time. Mission Impossible.